So Ron, uh, is there hope in terms of the research and treatments? Well, I think so. Uh, you know, it's a complex disease and uh, we won't really know that we've figured it out until we actually figure it out. So uh, we, we look for possibilities, real serious possibilities. And uh, we do this by looking at metabolites and what's wrong. We look at it from the genetics. You know, what kind of defects do patients have? They're not gonna have all the same ones, uh, likely. Uh, and we have to look at all that and try to make, make sense out of it. It's a, it's a major uh, puzzle. Uh, but you will also look for what actually seems to help, at least in some patients. So the Abilify is, has been a real um, eye-opener because uh, unfortunately we don't exactly know what it does, but it appears to increase dopamine is one of the things that it does. So that's triggered us to look at all the biochemistry uh, synthesis pathways and indirect and, uh, parts of it uh, for dopamine synthesis and, um, and delving into that with a, a large number of chemical reactions uh, we have come up with some, th some other things, which I don't want to talk about because uh, <clears throat> I don't want patients to self-experiment, but we're optimistic that we can find another uh, direct treatment that might even work in addition to Abilify or might work better. Uh, we also have some other ideas that we're pursuing. Uh, uh, this one we call the metabolic trap, and uh, it's a very complex um, trap, but it, it, it reflects what happens to the patients. They get sick and they can't get better. And so how can you explain that biochemically? And so we're looking for things which we would call traps and, uh, and we're exploring those. And, and once we, if we can validate that, then our next task is to how to get out of the trap. And uh, I have a very good scientist that's helping with this. Mm -hmm. uh, he runs a small company. He's not at Stanford, but he's physically close. Uh, he's brilliant, and uh, Rob Fair. Yeah, Rob Fair, and he's a, a MIT electrical engineer converted to me to medicine, and he can he can uh, model all these kinds of things, uh, and it really is helpful for speeding up our analysis. So, and as you'll see in the book, they've actually managed to demonstrate this trap in the yeast now, so that's very exciting. Um, that's at the very end of the book. Um, so they are making progress. And the value of doing it in yeast is that it would, it, it would be fairly straightforward then to find a drug that would get you out of the trap if you are in the trap. And that's the question. <laughs> so uh, yeah. that is actually uh, progressing now. Okay. Uh, if those all turn out to be wrong, we then keep looking. 